This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so they got Kendrick Lamar. He's not like a super social person, so him going to all these different, you know, going to Compton, going to Watts, doing the pop-out show, that's a lot for him. And so some people said, when your social battery is on E, he's like, yo, I just want to go home, dude. This is like... <laughs> This is a lot. Yeah, you know, you're 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 absorbing a lot of people's energy. The only thing I thought about in this picture, because it's him and Top Dog, drop and give me fifty. Drop and give me fifty. <laughs> there's something to that that we don't know right now, but trust me, there's something to that where like Top Dog's still eating off of Kendrick. Which, listen, it's just how the deal's structured. You know, Drake dropped at a higher rate than Kendrick, and he got out of his deal quicker and was able to renegotiate. He was in a, in a position. He's more, the way I look at Kendrick and Drake is Nas and Jay-Z. Nas, the, and I think this is a great comparison and I just stumbled on it, okay? Nas destroyed Jay-Z with Ether, right? And it was the same kind of feeling. The not like us thing. You know, it was the same feeling. It was like, oh man, JZ lost. Right? But <clears throat> as time went on, Jay-Z was more about business and not as much about hip hop. And he reached a peak of success at a higher rate. Now Nas did catch up with him. He had to know his own venture company and they made some great investments and ring and Casper Mattress, Pluto TV that sold and he, he he's super wealthy himself but Jay-Z's on another level he's just all about business and and, and that's how you got to look at it like Kendrick is Nas and Drake is Jay-Z <laughs> that's what it is you know like in this situation not at the same levels I'm saying but I'm saying if you were to compare situations that's who they are in this battle did Jay-Z lose? No, he didn't lose to a point where like nobody listened to him anymore. He lost that one battle, you know? Then we got uh, Diddy dropping the Sean John lawsuit um, against the company that owned Sean John before he bought it back for 7.5 million. He had sold it to them for I think like 60 million. So they, weren't, they used his image and likeness, but why would you keep suing them when they, I think they declared bankruptcy. Makes sense. Um, then we got. Then we got Iman Shumpert to pay Tiana Taylor seven figures in divorce settlement plus 8K per month in child support. So his whole ploy of, you know, I don't have any money. She makes more money than me. You know, all that stuff didn't work. Okay. Obviously, they were like, nah, you are an NBA player. <laughs> You're going to pay up buddy it's sad man you know this is why you don't want your relationship in public you know um stunner girl calls out ray j it's, she says instead of constantly being worried about me ray j needs to focus on what he did to wendy williams she ain't been the same since they were hanging out that's true remember ray j when she was kind of at the end of her career on tv Ray J was hanging out with her. I'm going to tell you, man. Something ain't right about Ray J. I don't know what it is, but something ain't right. Andre 3000 is going on a flute tour. Eh, man. You know, why don't you just go, Andre, just go give people what they want. Go on an outcast tour and have the flute open up. The flute, Andre, open up and then do outcast. Do it for it. Do it for the culture, bro. Like, why is he so anti-rap? You know, I love Andre 2000. He's one of my favorite rappers, right? But jeez, man. Yo, show these people, you know, like... I don't know, man. Like, I, I never get... He's, like, very... He must be impossible to be in a group with. You know, because he's, like... Man, today I don't feel like working, man. I'm going to go touch some trees and grass and climb a mountain and go sky gliding. 
really get one at nature and fly with the birds. And this guy's an incredible rapper. <laughs> it's just kidding. And then Big Boy's like, well, damn, bro. Like, you know, we do have this group called Outcasts. It's pretty legendary. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Big Boy keeps rapping, but it's just like, ah. They were a good yang and yang for a group. Um, then you got freshman class. Uh, meet the 2024 freshman class. They say not like us. I mean, come on. XXL, stop. I don't think there's any West Coast rappers on here either. So they're getting a lot of back, back, backlash. I'm going to be honest with you. Who do we know on this? Do they still put out magazines? Is this a magazine? Or is this just like for their website? Okay. Is Cash Cobain on here? Yeah, Cash Cobain. Is the Mexican OT from California? Boss Man D-Lo. Scarlet. Boss Man D-Lo is doing his thing. Four Bats obviously doing his thing, but uh, I don't think it's going to... Skillet Baby's doing his thing. Cash Cobain's doing his thing. Big The Plug's doing his thing. Poncho is definitely doing his thing. And uh, Mexican, that Mexican OT, I think he's doing a lot too. Okay. DJ Mustard says he was not trolling Drake with that Toronto Blue Jays hat and the Not Like Us video. That was just the only hat he had left that was stitched up with his, with the jungles on it. That's where he's from. And then we got Sexy Red. She's about to go on tour. I got to give her credit, man. She is milking the moment. Because, you know, she knows she's not going to be around forever, you know? She's getting that. She's getting. She's doing the right thing in her position. I can't even, you know, I, I got to respect it, you know? I got to respect it. You know, it's just like I don't like her music or anything. And I think it's really horrible. But, but, milk in a moment. That's just. Seeing someone hustle like that, you got to give it to them. Nicki Minaj, people were saying she feels threatened that uh, that uh, Cardi B got the Impact Award from Jason Lee. And that this, this is what this is about. This could be a, about Ice Spice, too, you know. So she says, hi, so let's get this right now. I'm that girl. I'm number one. Number two, revisit number one. If that means you got to revisit that stuff 500 times a day, do it before you ever think about playing with my... Bumboro so <laughs> clot? Why don't you say bumba clot? Head top. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one.